I'm Mo Feasy Beady. Today I'm going to show you how to make this earring or earrings. You will need a pair, obviously. Um, it's rather pretty. It's kind of 3D. It just stands up a bit, and that's what it looks like on the back. Um, the three millimeters bicorns I've got here. You can use eight or seed beads. It's not a problem. Um, you can also use 11 or seed beads. These bits here just pop out a bit more so you might prefer that so I'll just show you what you need I've only got enough for one earring here as I've obviously already made one so I'm just going to show you how to how to do it we need for a pair of earrings you need 12 triangle beads these are bronze luster iris opaque red you need two six millimeter rounds. This is a Shirovsky round. It's kind of a salmon pink, I believe. For a pair of earrings, you need 20 um, 15 knot seed beads. You need 36 in total, three millimeter bicones or eight hot seed beads. And you need 12 super duos. Now it's a good idea to check all your holes are clear before you start. I've got my triangles laid out here because you need to pick them up from the same hole each time. You need a beading needle and a pair of scissors. A pair of pliers is handy for any tight spots. The thread I'm using, it's um, the Beadsmith Fireline 0 0.006, it's in crystal. You can use KO thread, it's absolutely fine, it's not a problem. So to start with we need the triangles and the super duos, so I'll just move these out and zoom you in. So thread your needle, it, it's just an arm span of thread, certainly no more. So alternate your super duos and your triangles, making sure you pick up your triangle in the same hole each time. So I've got all them on there now. Take these down to the end of the thread. Now you can either go around these one more time and then thread your tail off. But I like to tie it off now. Just put three good knots in there. I'm just going to get my pliers and pull the thread there because I do find it hard to I'm going to go through a few of my beads now to pull my knot away and like I say you do it how you want if you want to go round again if you're happy doing it that way just go round and then thread your tail away so I've just pulled my knot into my bead so I can see where my thread is now it also has loosened this up, but this um, fire line, I do find it rather slippery. It's good in some ways, but not so in another. Right, so I've pulled my tail, my knot through um, three, four, five beads, so that's fine there. So I'm just going to go right round these beads again. It'll also tighten it up, so we don't need to pull it anymore. You also may notice that today I'm sat outside. It's a beautiful summer's day here in uh, North Yorkshire, England. So I thought I might as well come out and enjoy it. Right, so once you've gone round, we need to come out of a triangle. Right, my holes are here. And the top of my triangle is here, so I'm going to turn it over so I've got the holes at the top. I'm also just going to cut my tail off. Get it out my way. So, 
if you lay these all flat you've got two holes of your triangle at this side and that's where we need them to be so step up through your same triangle that you're coming out of just go through the next hole and now we need to pick up a three millimeter bicone skip your super duo and go through your next triangle don't worry too much about tightening it up right now we'll do that in a minute so again your three millimeter skip your next super duo and through your next triangle three millimeter skip your super duo and through your triangle three millimeter skip your super duo and through your next triangle three millimeter skip your super duo and through your next triangle three millimeter skip your super duo and we're going back into the same triangle that we started with now go through the three millimeter again and out the next triangle so we're going to go right round these beads again I'll tighten them up a little bit as well don't go around more than once at this point because we do need to be going through these triangles and when you're pulling it you pull it in the direction of the circle so if you pull it out you're going to loosen it so just keep going right round tightening as you go so when you get to a triangle we need to come out of it out there once you've gone round enough times get everything tangled up so we're coming out of a triangle now so we need our six millimeter round pick that up so I'm coming out here, I'm going to go across and through this triangle. Just like that. And just make sure that sits on top. And then it pops in. So we'll go back up past 6mm back through the triangle in the same direction that we came out from in the first place and I'm just going to go around this route two or three more times make sure it's nice and strong So I'm happy with that. So I'm just going to go through my triangle and I'm coming out of this hole again. So we need to go down to the bottom hole of the triangle. So just turn it over and like I say, coming out this side, just go through the bottom hole of that same triangle. If you have to go through a super gel, that's absolutely fine because that is where we need to come out from. So we're coming out for super duo now on the other side. Okay, that's what we have on that side. And we're working on the back side at the moment. So step up your um, super duo. And now we need to pick up three millimeter bico, a 15 naught seed bead, and a three millimeter bico. We're going to skip this triangle now and we're going to go through the next super duo. And we're going to repeat this all the way around. So we've got a 3mm bicone, 15 naught seed bead, and 3mm bicone, and through the next super duo. Your 3mm bicone, 15 naught seed bead, 3mm bicone. And through the next seed, uh, super duo, your three millimeter, your fifteen or your three millimeter, 
and through the next biker. 15 or 3 millimeter. Sorry, 3 millimeter, 15 or 3 millimeter, and through the next biker. So now we've added five. So at this point, this is where we need to add our ear ring, our ear hook. So get your ear hook ready. Pick up a three millimeter and your last five 15 knot seed beads. Now, if you're using 11 knots, three should be fine, or you can try five, you'll just have more of a, a hoop. Now, we need to make sure we're going to go through the ear hook the correct, correct direction, and then pick your ear hook up in the correct direction and your last three millimeter and then go through the next super duo three millimeter and basically we're just going to work, go around these again so it doesn't matter how many you go through and pull that tight again in the direction of the circle so i'm just going to go around these beads one more time the ones that i've just added including the super duos pull in as you go So I'm back to my A hook now. So I'll just make sure you go around the five seed beads that you've added. Hopefully it's nice and tight. So back up the five seed beads. Make sure you go through your A hook as well. And then back down. And I'm going to come out just before the super duo there because that's how I'm going to start adding my knots. Just make sure that's nice and tight. So you just catch your thread underneath and put your knot in. Half hitch knots will work just as good because that's what a lot of people do. <laughs> right, so I've pulled that knot and I'm going to pull it into the super duo and just make my way across to the next super duo. Making sure you don't catch your ear hook. Pull that knot and it's in. Right, so I'm putting one more knot in there just before the super duo because it goes in there nicely. Make sure your thread goes the right place and pull. just before the super duo again my last knot and I'm just going to go through a few more beads to take my thread away from my knot I mean, you can continue putting knots in if you want, but I'm quite happy with three. If I can manage to get it through that last bit. I'm just going to cut my thread now. I think I need some new scissors, they're getting a bit blunt. So there we go. We now have a lovely pair of earrings. 
It's a very quick, um, rather a simple project, I think. Um, quite quick to do. You saw how quick that was, really easy. I would say it was an intermediate tutorial because of the um, just going backwards and forwards, but if you're a beginner and you're ready to move on to the next thing, then feel free to give it a try. Right, I'm Mo Neeson of Easy BD. Thank you for watching. You can find me on Facebook. Uh, just search for Easy BD. I'll also put a link after this tutorial at the bottom of the description. I'll also put the um, amount of beads you need and what tools you require. Um, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.